it is what it was, and, and it's my mistake. And uh, I paid for it. He wasn't responsive, because when I ran up to him, you know, I didn't think he was alive. <sighs> Jeremy Renner and his nephew Alex open up for the first time about the snowplow accident that nearly took the actor's life. Someone's been run over by a snowcat. Hurry. He's been crushed. Okay, we have... Send paramedics to ambulance. Everyone's video. on the way right now. Listen to me. We yeah. might want to get a life flight out here immediately. The neighbors who called 911 nearly lost hope. I really feel he did pass away for a couple seconds. Really do. <laughs> I knew it was dire. I was like, I don't know if he's going to make this one. Jeremy sits down with Diane Sawyer for an ABC News special, where he speaks candidly about the near-fatal January accident during an attempt to save Alex's life. Alex is here. The truck is right behind him. He's going to get sandwiched by this and the truck. So I try to jump back in the dang thing to, <laughs> right. yeah, disengage it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was pretty terrifying to... Uh, to see like, you know, the person that you look up to for so much, um, to be like that, to see them like that. And then his head kind of turned and then like this huge breath came back into him. Jeremy was run over by a seven ton snowplow on New Year's Day. His sister, Kim Renner, rushed to his side. I was the first to arrive at the hospital and I saw um, one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Poor sister. We don't know if there's swelling on his brain. We don't know if his heart's still working. Can he breathe on, on his own? The accident left him in critical condition with 30 plus broken bones. Jeremy also had to undergo surgery for blunt chest trauma and orthopedic injuries. Do you remember the pain? Oh, all of it. Yeah, I was awake through every moment. And it's uh, it's exactly like you imagine it would feel like. I had the chance to chat with Yeah, him. no, been Probably. in touch with him, reached out to him. He's doing good, I believe. And yeah. Oh, yeah, all prayers are with him. Since the accident, Jeremy's friends and co-stars have shared updates with E.T. I talked to him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's doing all right. He's doing he's doing well. He's the best, best guy and, you know, um, he's awesome. He is a force of nature, he's unstoppable, and I just am so relieved that he's on the comeback trail. And Jeremy has shared updates with his fans, too. I was the first shower. I was definitely a week or so. <laughs> Gross. The actor posted that video with his mom and sister just days after the accident. It's like having a walking this kind of way. That's seriously cool. And you're totally doing the walking motion. Correct. Yeah, and just with only 40% um, of my weight. And he shared that clip from a recent physical therapy session, walking on an assisted treadmill. I refuse to have that be a trauma and it be a negative experience. That is a man I'm proud of. I refuse to be haunted by that memory that way. Now, Jeremy says he's got a new lease on life that won't keep him down. Do you dream of doing those stunts again? I'm okay with a stunt guy doing it. It's part. I'm 52. It's fine. <laughs> I've done enough. <laughs> I'm okay to do more, right? But, you know, I'm okay. I have no ego. Like, yeah, go for it. I don't care. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> <laughs>